Hey guys, Blink here, and today I'm going to show you the top free video editors to edit your videos and games. These are some of the awesome sources I use, so let's get started. The first editing software is called HitFilm 4 Express. Now this program has an After Effects feel to it. It's a great editing program if you're making film type videos or gaming montages. There are many many effects to choose from. You can change the color of your clips or add fades. Now there are many tutorials on YouTube about HitFilm that you can watch if you want to build the experience of course. To download HitFilm click Start Making Movies button and then at the bottom click Get HitFilm 4 Express Free. Enter your name, email, and password. Make sure you remember as you will have to activate the program with your info. Once you have filled these fields out, click the send me the download button at the bottom and you will receive the download link in your email. Choose your operating system and install the editor. Once you have opened HitFilm 4, click new, then click start editing. Next import your video file that you want to edit. Now to mess with some of the color correction, hit the effects tab and choose color grading. You can choose any of the gradings. Now just drag and drop one of the gradings on your video. Next just make sure the one you choose is expanded, which will allow you to mess with the colorization. Now to add a fade transition, add another clip beside your current one. Then visit the effects tab and then find transitions video. Then click dissolve, then cross dissolve. Drag the effect at the end of the first clip and you will notice your clip fade from the first to the second. Now to export your edited video, click export at the top and go into mp4. Now the only setting we have to make sure is that the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Also guys if you have a bunch of triangles just set the frame rate to 30 it should fix it. One more thing is if you have a very good computer guys then you can move target and max bitrate to the right as much as possible. If your computer is alright then don't touch the max bitrate setting. Now this next software is called Lightworks. I recommend you use it if you're making videos similar to the one you're currently watching. Now you must register before using the software as you will have to input your details to activate it. So click on register and fill in all the fields. Next activate your account by visiting your email and clicking on the activation link. Once your account has been activated, open up Lightworks and input your username and password. Next enter the name for your project and click on create. Now to show a project interface, click the third icon from the tools menu. Next you want to import a clip by clicking the second icon. Find the file, double click it and then drag it onto the timeline. Now to add a clip fade effect, we are going to need two videos. So simply add another video by doing the same thing or you can cut the current video by finding a spot on the timeline and hitting the delete button on your keyboard. Your clip will be sliced in two which will allow us to add the fade. Next click the right arrow with the line beside it to center the cut. Then click the effects in the bottom right and click dissolve. Then make sure the drop down on center here is set. Then make the duration 25 frames which is a one second fade. Click add and you're done. Your video will play back with the fade. To export your project, drag and drop the second last icon on your video. Select your video format, which is Vimeo or YouTube, then choose your destination folder and hit OK. Lastly, enter a name for your video and click start. Let it render out and then you can freely upload it to YouTube. Well, that's basically it guys. These were the two best free video editing softwares that I looked into. Now, if you do have the money, I recommend you buy Sony Vegas because of the features it has. But if you don't, these two are by far the best free ones. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below if this guide was helpful. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.